Hello everyone, welcome back to Mountain Blade A Clash of Kings. My name is Saren Death, and as always, if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, follow the link in the description below. A quick recap from last time. After a grueling battle, our commander was taken captive by Volantis. And after a long journey of tracking the enemy army, we launched a daring rescue and managed to free our commander from captivity. In between episodes, I met back up with my commander while they were defending one of our last keeps, and after a bloody battle, we managed to claim victory over the massive forces of Bravos. Taking our victory as a sign, the Lords of Cohort decided to hold a feast, and while they were drinking and eating all in the name of victory, another one of their keeps was taken. Now desperate to hold on to what they have, the Lords are setting out, looking for what victories they can. That is where we start out today, on patrol as another keep is under assault. So, without further delay, let's get into the game. Alright, so here we are loaded into the game. Now, really quick, we own two keeps. The uh, This one right here is currently under siege. This is the one we just had the wonderful, lovely feast in. The one we lost was actually up here in the north. I want to say it was... Let me just turn this camera. There we go. It was this one right here. We lost this keep. And basically, we are now with our commander looking for some fights. We are on patrol, so we're going to go ahead and return to duty now. And we're pretty much looking for anywhere that we can claim victory. Volantis is attacking. Oh, no. Here comes a massive army from Norfos. <laughs> did we manage to get back into the keep? We did. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be defending this place uh, as we are attacked. This... Oh, we just lost another territory. Veyes Javi was taken by Volantis. This is the last stronghold that we have. So we'll see if these guys are able to, to hold out. We're going to do our best to help them defend this. Um, we're going to go ahead and ignore the berries. And I'm actually going to change my inventory really quick before we get back into this. So as it stands right now, I've got... Let's see here. This does 25 damage. This does 18. So we're going to use the recurve bow. And I think we might go ahead and just skip the shield altogether for right now and just pick one up as we need it. I think that's what we might do. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to return to duty. And uh, hopefully that works out for us. So, I, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Uh, but my noble deeds, we're going to reward him with 200 coins. There we go. Alright, here it is. We're going to follow the commander into battle. Oh my word, this is this does, this does not look good. 361 troops fit for battle against their 1,114. Okay, we are defending though, so that's a good thing. Um... Oh, this place. Okay, I recognize. I recognize the layout. What we're actually going to do is the enemy's going to come through the gate right there, and they're going to have to come up this ramp. So we're actually going to go around all of this mess, and there's actually a backside we can go ahead and shoot into the the hind quarters of the enemy. So we're going to try and get some kills that way, and then uh, we will obviously have to defend once our front line breaks, which it will likely break against the tide of enemies coming. So, one way we can go, we're probably going to go all the way over here and on this side. Yep. I definitely want to uh, want to take things slow. I want to try and make it through a large portion of this battle. Alright, here we go. The enemy is, is a crashing against our wall. Let's see if we can get get some damage out here. My archery is not the best. I'm apparently shooting way overhead. There we go. Yeah, my archery is not the best, but hopefully we will... There we go. Took one guy out. Shooting into a mass of guys is... Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. We do not have infinite arrows, though, so... Try and take out as many as we can before shifting back over. We are. We only took out like maybe one or two. There's another one. Okay. So we just did a massive amount of damage there. Um, I don't think it's really going to matter that much, but we're going to move over here and uh, at least deal some damage from the front lines there. 
We do have the two-handed sword, which is going to help us out significantly. The goal here is to not to not die. That's the goal, or to get, not get knocked unconscious early. These actually can provide a lot of experience too. If we're able to to last for a large portion of the fight, we are doing fairly well. Uh, we have a very nice choke point here. The enemy has to get through. What I have to watch out for is a lot of these guys can like throw spears and stuff and javelins, and those things are brutal. They do a crap load of damage. I can hit one time and I'm gonna get taken out. There we go. Let him turn his attention away and then move in and hack it back. Get some! I do not want to fall off either. That would be horrible. Thankfully, the Dothraki are, like, horrible at attacking places. Like, you get them off their horses, they're actually, they fold relatively easily. Okay, our guys are getting a little pushy here. Looking pushy. There's, there's enough room for everyone to get in there and... and Pack away. I hope we can get some reinforcements here soon. Front line is not doing as, as well as I was hoping. Oh my god, these guys are going to end up knocking me off. And that is going to be a very, very sad day indeed. If I get knocked off on my own people. Got another one. Got another one. Where are all of our archers at? Okay, we just got reinforced. Oh no, don't don't fall back. Don't fall back. Keep the pressure on right here. We need archers, so we need too many guys just stand around. Get over there and fight. Well, the, the first line of the enemy is basically about ready to crumble here, but they will be reinforced. We've already had to get reinforced once. I'm surprised we don't have, we have like next to no archers. This is not pretty good for defense, honestly. Ugh. All right, here comes the next wave of their reinforcements. Hours of one up there, I can't tell. We must defend. Okay, we got reinforced once again. Hopefully it's archers this time. Because we could definitely use some. Why, why are you guys keep falling back? Stop falling back and giving them enough room to move in and and finish us off. My goal is to be the last one standing. That's my goal. Whether I'm able to accomplish that goal or not, you know, we'll see. I don't think we're going to win this battle. I really don't. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to switch up and grab a shield. Come on. Ooh, actually, I think this heavy war scythe, why not? Give me more reach. Potentially means more potential kills. There we go. Ah! Just hack away. Just hack away. I love Halberd so much. 
Unfortunately, it ends up being like one of my default weapons, and I was trying to change it up this time. So, all right, just got reinforced again. Oh, they're, they're throwing things up here now. I'm gonna duck back. Let me get rid of. I'm not entirely sure what I dropped. I must have dropped. Oh, the arrows. I'm not sure which does more damage, the heavy scythe or the long pole axe. Oh no, I want the heavy scythe. This thing is does not have the same range. Can I grab one of these throwing axes? I can. Unable to use that. Can I grab it now? Nope. Right, let's just pick up our... Let's get our scythe back out. I wonder if I can get over on this side. The answer to that question is... Maybe. There we go. Just swing a lot. Just swing a lot. And hope you don't get shot. That's why the pole axes are the best ever. Because they have ridiculous uh, reach. You can get to a great spot and just hack away at people. You have entered a kill zone. <laughs> Break upon my sight. If I could actually get the attack off right now, that'd be great. I'm being stopped by something. Get off my my pedestal. Or my my wall. I will continue to hack away at these guys until I fall. I'm surprised I haven't been shot yet. Welcome to the meat grinder, boys. Oh my word, this is ridiculous. If we win because I can, like, sit here in this position and kill, like, 800 people, this would be ridiculous. Is it is it cheesy? Yes. Is it effective? Well, obviously. <laughs> oh, my word. As long as we don't lose too many guys, like, we might actually be able to pull this off. See, this is one of the things I wish this game would do more of, is, like, when people suffer, like, massive losses like this, uh, it should have more detrimental effects other than, oh, the Lord's gotta go back and, and recruit, and, like, in three days they'll have max troops again. Because that's kind of what it feels like sometimes, is like, basically, they suffer massive casualties and within like a week, they're they're fully up and running with the same number of guys they had before. Which, you know, that's not the way, the way war works. War is very costly, especially for human life. So, I, I kind of hope that Banner Lords really changes the way that this works, so that way... It makes it much more costly, is what I'm hoping. Uh-oh. Well, it doesn't matter how bad this goes. I feel like I did my part. Hack, stab. Hack, stab. 
We're starting to lose guys now. You yeah, would make retreating a much more viable option too. Instead of just something the player does more often, it'd be something that like enemy lords would need, would want to do as well to make sure that they can they can keep a, a steady supply of troops and stuff. And I also think that uh, other mods that allow lords to be killed, including your character, maybe not so much your character, but definitely other lords. Um, like, given an option, like, my character can be killed if I'm taken out in a very brutal way or something like that. But definitely other lords, for sure. I'm getting tired. The fatigue's starting to set in. I'm not one shot people. Oh, I got hit. It's bound to happen eventually. They're just a ridiculous amount of bodies everywhere. Oh, our line's starting to break. You gotta back out. Yeah, we're starting to lose guys here. Okay, we're starting to fill back in once again. Imagine if you were part of this attacking party. I would have left a long time ago. Are we gonna get reinforced soon? I think this is it. I wonder how many guys I've taken out so far. Cause this is we're dumb. I believe in our I believe in our front line. Keep it up. I can kill another like eight hundred. Is he even reinforced yet? I don't think so. Maybe this is gonna be the last batch of them. Oh, if I saw a guy trickle in. Oh no, I think they got reinforced. I just didn't see the message come up. <laughs> don't let him pass the front line. Retake the ladder, retake the ladder. That's it, you guys come in, and welcome to the meat grinder. I'm Sarah Death, I'll be your executioner. Nice to meet you. Come on. There we go. Oh, I, I, I've taken a lot of damage here. I think I got hit by something. We have we've got a few guys over there on the sides, but uh, this is pretty much this is pretty much our force right here. If I get shot or something like that, I'm gonna get taken out. Oops. See, there should be like fatigue too. I mean, it would punish the player a lot more because you tend to you tend to be in the front lines immediately. But uh, I mean, that's something Battle Lords can can look at doing a bit better is like less of the small amounts of reinforcements, but more of a larger scale. That'd be impressive if they can pull that off. I'm just very excited for Battle Lords, so I keep talking about it. I've seen quite a few videos on it, and it has been. I've been thoroughly impressed every single time. Oh man. The front line is starting to buckle. I mean, we've, we've taken out scores of these guys. 
the morale should be like devastated right now. I gotta back off. They have a bunch of archers down there. We're wrecked. Oh no. One of them is broken through. Alright, we're taking him out. How many guys we have left? Not many. Not many. There are like a lot of our heavier, heavier guys have been taken out already. So I don't have, I have no idea what happens if, uh, if my faction is destroyed while I'm part of somebody's army. Are, they are... Oh, did we just get reinforced? I think we just got reinforced. Heck yeah. Oh no. We gotta, we gotta beat them back right here. Hopefully none of them turn around. Ignore the man with the heavy weapon in the back. Oh no. Oh, that was so close. He did not ignore me. We gotta get them. Oh no, the reinforcements just continue to push us back. Our numbers are dwindling heavily. I'm seeing some arrows fly up in here too. Alright, I need to back off. No! No! Oh, I fell off the thing! <laughs> what a uh, what a horrible way to go. Well, we, uh, we managed to hold off for as long as we could. The enemy did finally push in to take us out, though. They're going to go over here. They're going to finish off the last people we have. I'm just going to go ahead and skip out of this because uh, a lot of these guys are in very awkward positions, and they may not end up getting taken out because of, like, weirdness. Well, maybe maybe they will. We'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll sit around to the very bitter end. That's what we're going to do. Yep. So he's down, and the last defender over here on the wall... I believe in you, man. Take at least one more out. You've been sitting back here the whole time. Ah. Uh, and that's it. That's it. So, let's find out what happens when you uh, your faction is destroyed while you are part of their army. Okay, so your forces were utterly crushed. Utterly. So, we had 360 casualties. Enemy had. You ready for this number? 441. I felt like I there were way more casualties than that, but yeah, only 441, and I managed to get 231 kills. Oh man, just perfect positioning. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens. You are quickly surrounded by guards who take your we away weapons with curses and insults. They throw you into the dungeon where you must. Um, basically, we have to wait our days in captivity. Okay, so our enemies are going to take us captive. I believe Kohor has been officially destroyed. Painful days being dragged about as a prisoner. You find a chance and escape from your captors. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this really fast. We have been... We are captured. I mean, it still says that we are still uh, in his party. All right, let's check out factions really fast. Are they still a thing? No, the faction has ceased to exist. So, 
I wonder what that means then. So let's go ahead and take a look at our guy. He is still a member of Kohar. Well, let's see what happens when it officially announces the, the faction is destroyed. We're going to go ahead into the city here. We're going to probably sell some stuff and then wait it out. And we'll be right back once we figure out what's going on. All right, so after about a week of traveling and doing some minor skirmishes here and there, we've actually found out what has happened. So basically, you are part of your commander's army, your lord's army, and whenever he actually switches sides after the faction is, faction is destroyed, you also switch sides. So we're actually approaching our lord now, and we're going to go ahead and talk to him. What is up, buddy? Um, we are going to return to his service ready to return to retinue there we go so we're going to get a bunch of reputation with him pretty good and we're going to go ahead and head back out now here's the deal most of the fighting on in in essos um has pretty much ceased uh most of these guys are in defensive packs and um they're in alliances and and all that fun stuff so not much is going on over here and of course in westeros not much is going on over here as well so not much is going on so basically what's going to happen is we're going to uh, go ahead and call this episode here next time we come back hopefully some fighting starts out between the different factions otherwise we're probably going to break away and maybe start some things on our own but uh, that is gonna be it for today though thank you all so much for watching and until next time i will catch you all later